Hey, well, hello to everyone out there on YouTube, man. I hope that everybody's doing well. Hope that everybody's having a good day, enjoying themselves and things of that nature. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. I am back again just to share in this exhortation, um, you know, to, to help us grow in the Lord and to make us aware of, um, to make us get, bring awareness uh, to many different topics, of course. So today, we want to encourage uh, to make us aware that we will never change or come to the the mindset of repentance um, without studying the Word of God. And remember that um, studying the Bible, yeah, studying the Word of God um, and the Bible, because we know that even though some people say that, that there is it's interchangeable, the Word of God and the Bible are two different things. Every Because what I'm saying is everything in the Bible is not the Word of God. It's not everything. Remember, there are, there's God speaking, and then there are people speaking through inspiration, and then there are people who are just speaking. So, <laughs> so anyway, we just want to be careful about that, you know. So because Jesus is the you know washes us uh, with uh, the water by the word of God, right? But if we never study that Bible and be uh, receive uh, that washing with that word of God, uh, that water and word of God, we will never, ever change. That is one of the reasons why you see people, they've been in church forever or say they're saved. They've been saved forever. They were born saved, <laughs> raised in the church in quotes. But you see them behaving just like you would see anyone in the world. They're twerkers, they're they walk in nakedness. You know, their their language is very filthy and foul, you know. They're liars, they're thieves. They're, you know, they they're adulterers, they're adulteresses. <laughs> uh they're fornicators, you know, they are everything that you will see uh, of the wickedness of, of, a, of a wicked person. You know what I mean? But they'll tell you that they're this and, you know, they're that. They even might even be all themselves pastors or preachers or evangelists and apostles and all type of things, teachers and everything, you know. But their lifestyle, from what you witness and observe, is totally... <laughs> totally not you know of god at all you know watching they watch the you know the raunchiest of films and you know just do a lot of things and you're like huh you know so but these people have never been washed They've never been washed by the water and the word that is the only way we're going to have that mindset that mind change you know, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. That's the only way that we're going to be reformed. That's the only way we can repent is when we, you know, under have an understanding of what, we, what, what we're doing wrong. Remember, in a, f a few accounts uh, that you will see in the book of Acts, the way that they would minister to crowds of people and, and the people would just... You know, because they told them the truth because before they didn't have that information. They didn't have that that truth. They went about doing what their fathers and their father's fathers and their forefathers did or what they saw uh, Pharisees and Sadducees do. But when that truth came, a lot of them, they were cut to the core. Okay? They were cut to the core. And some, they would they would repent. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They will repent and be sorrowful, godly sorrowful, 
at their behaviors and at the, you know, the way they lived and such and such and such. But then there were some that heard that word and they were like, what? I'm, I'm not, you know, we're not going to stop. You a lie. You are, you're a liar. You know, they tell me, you know, we're not going to stop doing this. They'll stop. They were stopping their ears. They were plugging their ears up, you know, holding their ears uh, because they didn't want to hear that. Okay. And, and some, they, they still went a little further to kill the messenger to stone and or kill uh, that messenger because, no, you are a lie. This is not the word of God. This, you know, this is not the God that I, you know, I don't want to hear this. You know, this, I don't want to stop doing this. I'm not going to stop doing this. You know, and these are, these are really very religious people, though, because they, they're not hearing that. And some, I mean, they when they heard it, man, they 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 wouldn't told their families and and or, or and took the men, please come and see my family, come and talk to my family. You know, oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh, that's is I'm I'm welling up because that is so beautiful. You know, you know the accounts in the Old Testament there, and it, you'll see it in Matthew, Mark, and Luke when they were in jail them times and stuff like that. And, um, and uh, you know, the, the, the people who had them in jail, they were ministering, still ministering to those people, and those people were getting saved and, 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 and uh, saying, you know what, you go, let's go. We got to, I want you to come, to come to my house, or you need to come, you know, speak to my family because I want them saved also. You know, because the, that their eyes were open and they, they were like, yeah, oh, you know, I can get with this. <laughs> you know, I can I can get with this. So so it's important that if you want change, you must study the word of God. If you want change in your life and if you know, which starts in our hearts, in our mind, you know, uh, and because the Bible tells us. There were double man, double uh, minded person, a man or person is unstable in all their ways. So we can't have one foot in and one foot hanging out. We have to be fully convinced that Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and we follow him and we we know what he stands for and what he expects of us. And having that mind change is a good thing to turn, to repent, and to be on that new path. It's so much freedom involved. You know, all these shackles and bondages and whatnot falling off of us. You know, because, I mean, it's so much that 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 is going to entail so many things are going to change and i know some people they're afraid of the changes because they they like their life they like what they're doing they you know at least they think they do they think nothing is better until you come over to the to the to the light side <laughs> the light side you know out of darkness but into marvelous light that's when we really start living and again we begin to enjoy life for, for real enjoy life you know and and a lot of things change i'm talking about if especially if financially things you used to spend money on you're not going to spend money on that kind of stuff anymore you know uh you know and and a lot of things you 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 thought you enjoyed and you 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 paid big money for or you wasted uh spent a lot of time doing and you know you you know you spent time you spent energy efforts i mean resources and all of that toward things you're going to stop doing all of that all this planning for and organizing for different programs and thing you know it's just going to it's all going to be because <laughs> What did, uh, what's his name say? Vanity, vanity, all is vanity, you know, a vanity upon vanity, you know. So anyway, I just want to encourage us to start studying your Bibles. If you really want change in your life, if you want to start seeing things differently, because some people, you can minister to them, you know, they've heard all of the sermons and all of this and that. But of course, they have never been changed and most of the sermons not of really of God anyway. You very rarely hear sermons about 
true God and about something that's meaningful about him. <laughs> and when I say him, I'm talking about God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, you know. So, but there's really never anything more uh, really meaningful. It's just fully some shenanigans, just not even shenanigans, but uh, buffoonery and foolishness, nonsense. It's not even the truth. But nonetheless, people have heard different things, but their in their life just has never changed, and and and, and life can never change, you know, until that light comes on, you know. So, um, so be wise, study your word of God. If you need to start anywhere, start in the New Testament because we are now in the New Testament. And your you can do them parallel, you know, side by side, which is also good because your study Bible has many references. It's going to have references to the Old Testament anyway. So as you are studying, uh, it's going to have references to the Old and New Testament. But what I'm saying is while you're studying the New Testament, you're going to see it's going to refer you also back to the Old Testament uh, for certain uh, passages anyway. So, you know, start there. Uh, Matthew, Mark, and start in the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, and Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's the best place to start. Um, although those are all four uh, different accounts of the same thing, but they'll all be different. You know, they'll be. Uh, they all have different vibes. They all have different information because it was it, they're personal. This is the personal time that these particular disciples spent with Jesus. So they'll have different accounts of uh, you know time with him or experiences and da 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 da. So anyway, if you want change, if you want change, if you want change. You must read your Bible. You must study it. You must make notations. You must drink it. You must eat it. You must digest it. Okay, so we'll talk to you later. We pray as always um, for that we would all be repentive or be repenting on a daily basis of the myriad of errors that we make in our life on a daily basis of how we're living because so many people, you remember that one uh, analogy, I guess it is, of how to, or something like that, about this woman every year she would make a, a ham and a ham, I think it was ham turkey, I think it was a ham, but nonetheless, every year, Thanksgiving or ch chicken, uh, chicken, <laughs> Christmas, whenever it was, whatever it was there, there was, whichever time it was, of the year it was, that she would make this ham. And then she was she would always cut the ham in half to and to, and then cook it. And then I think uh, she finally asked her mother or her mother asked her, why, you know, why do you cut this ham? Or maybe she asked her mom, why do you, she said, well, she, or some about, I've been doing this all, all my, all of these years because this is how I saw my mother do it. And then I think she finally asked, well, mother, mother, why do you do it or whatever? And the mother was doing it only because that was the space that she had in the oven. She didn't have a big oven, so she had to cut the thing down. So do you see how we do things in error year after year, day after day, and not even knowing why we are doing it, what we're doing, because we saw somebody else do it or we heard somebody else do it, you know, or or something like that. Anyway, I digress. I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.